Or yeah, it, Counter Strike will really get to you. It's uh, closer. <laughs> I always say it's closer to chess than it is to Call of Duty. Sure, it's a yeah. sure it's it's a shooter. Sure, it's a tax shooter even. But Counter Strike's a very very strong mental game and. Having having the fortitude to be able to uh, just keep pushing through and not waver on your decisions and to stay consistent, just like signing mouse pads is consistently won the knife rounds, um, mm -hmm. is uh, the key to a successful game, but also a successful player being, you know, not not uh, not feeling discouraged because how shouldn't feel discouraged? They should they should feel like they want to fight back. They want to get angry. So uh, yeah. You know, let's, let's see if they do. Uh, mouse pads starting on the CT side. Mm -hmm. And uh, it'll probably be a normal split, like a 2-1-2, two, two, or a, a 2-3, rather, um, with uh, coverage on both arches and up lane. But that's enough of mouse pads. What's Howl going to do? <laughs> yeah, exactly. They look like they're all pushing straight. Oh, I thought they were going to go for a straight into Banana. I was mentioning before you got back here that I was like, I was the kind of guy who likes just pushing Banana a lot and trying to hold that as much as they can. Brady will pick up the first frag of this round here. Kadius now looking over onto them. He's going to try to get the damage on. Does take 54 of his own. Nice head shot. I think that's one more kill. He'll probably go down to Brooklyn. He does Forza pick up another kill after that. He picks up two, in fact. So they set it a 2v2 situation. They now move on to plant the bomb. Nice. Initial plan here by Team Havilwet. Gorko does to go down. So Sparta now by himself to defend it. They are defusing here. Sparta picks up one more. Bomb does get defused, however. But hey, Sparta technically, technically got a sort of got a pistol ace. <laughs> so, uh, fun performance out of him. No, sorry, Gorko did pick up one kill. I'm a liar. So Sparta did pick up 4k on that one instead. So, but signing mouse pads do pick up the round win, of course. What that uh, gets for Sparta is the ability to have thirteen hundred dollars, more than mm -hmm. you know, basically double what his other team has, uh, and still buying the same type of weapons. So, if uh, they want to go for an off early round, they're definitely gonna have the potential ability. Great piece of one, looking to get another one. Not quite able to pick up that three kill. Gorko will finally take a out, so one for one. There, Terrace will usually take that one. As Blazzy is now looking over the site, trying to defend something. Gorko will take him out. Cadius now here, left to defend. He will not do so. Plant is going to happen, and now it's up to DY and Guz to go here for the retake. He's going over to that side of the site. Loki will take him out from behind. Guz will pick up that one, though. So it's just up to him now. He does have a pretty nice gun here. Does he want to go for the 1v3 clutch? It looks like he does. He's peeking over right now. No one's showing where they are yet. He does find him behind the box. Buzz will pick up one. He nice, a nice little flick picks up two. It's just him versus Tav. Now gets the third one. Guz with the clutch and the 4K. Beautiful play out of Guz. Has the defuse as well. And uh that's uh it's gonna be tight, but he does have it. Boom. Mm -hmm. He really played that well, knew exactly where they were. Uh, and timed I mean, it perfectly, really. Yeah, like. <laughs> ab absolutely perfectly. Really well done by Guz there. And uh, his his big uh, big silent stem four really, really did some work. Yeah, and it was such a good execute by Team Howell to get on the side initially, but Guz really just came out perfectly in the clutch there to pick up those being the one person buying that m4 now but team howl's gonna come back at this one they all pick up some ak's and are really trying to force this around here we're going into bananas guz does see a couple of them out decides to back off as you can't really deal with everyone rushing up onto you if you're by yourself so he's waiting for a team to come for him swazzy takes that angle and will pick up the Frag of this round, and the rest of them are now moving in onto the B site. Guz here currently by himself. His team is not located for him yet. Guz trying to get one. Really? He does get two, but Tav will eventually pick him up. And now the rest of them are going to try to see if they can retake this one. DY will go down. Team Howl is the B bomb grid. site, though. Yep. They, they took it. I mean, it was a little mm -hmm. scrappy, and Gorklo is 10 HP, but they took it. And uh, the retake is coming in from signing mouse pads. We have a B. Uh, or a, a banana push from Cadius and Swazzy and Brady are both pushing in. Brady. 
Ooh, leaving Great. Tav in a 1v3. It does have an AK, Swazi's down half, and Brady's down a 70, so let's see if you can play it, and ooh, Cadius with a really nice double tap on that SMG. Yeah, Tina will be able to plant every time so far it has been pretty good, but this round they did spend a ton of money to, try to make sure they can do it again here this time, and they're going to be able to pick up some of their rifles there. It does Swazi got ripping out AK, so... Sunny Mousepad's in a good situation here. 3 0. Let's see who buys up here on Team Howell. Most of them buying rifles right now. Guys and... dropping the op for Swazzy. Where does he mm. go to play with this? Probably middle, most likely. But, but I want to see some uh, new flash animations or the, the kill feed. Let's see if he gets the miss. Uh, we have Guz actually, once again, over on Banana, just going for some frags. Being oh, taken on by Sparta. Yeah. Parts are taking him out. They continue to push on to Banana over here as they have good control over Team Howell, despite being down a couple rounds here. I just like, I kind of like how they're executing right now in comparison to the last round. They're being aggressive and really getting in there and really just trying to make things happen as they continue to push on to this B site. They throw out the smoke there. DY trying to see if he can defend this tab. He will go down. Look it up. Sparta as well. He looks into another target. He will be taken out. Madoka and Sparta and Gorklo here now planting the bomb. It's up to Swazi and Brady to retake here. So as he just delaying for Brady to rotate through CT so they can push into this together. We have a uh, very damaged Gorklo and a half damaged Sparta where. If uh, Brady goes in with that AK, we could easily, easily take two of them out. Uh, good thing Modica is the one watching him. The miss spray from the Brady. Swazzy's the only one left with the op. They're going for the shot game, taken out by Sparza. Really nice round to see how it'll come out on. So, uh, looks like their B taking their B hold is quite strong, and it made the retake mm -hmm. very difficult for mouse pads. Yeah, exactly. Like I was saying, Team Howell being able to plant every single round, it gives you that kind of bit of confidence. Like, hey, like, all it takes is cleaning up a little bit on when the enemy team is trying to retake and defending it, and we, we could have been taking a couple more rounds here. Of course, you you, you had a big pop-off round by, by Guz to make one of those other rounds happen, so it's like, we don't let them do stuff like that. Our game plan does work against this team, so right now they're doing a good job of that. And then a little bit, of course, the change up as they slow it down a little bit here. They get some three members, the signing mouse pads get into Banana. They will take one frag here. Radio will pick up one. And pulling that pistol, they're getting it done too. I was pretty happy about That was really smart from Howell, actually. I think they knew that mouse pads would be uh, saving and going for a nade stack, and they stayed back at stairs. They, they didn't go and push up Banana, they didn't go try to fight it, other than uh, Tav taking that fight. They mm -hmm. didn't expose themselves, and that's one of the hard things on Inferno, is uh, if you're not... Ooh, Modoka taking out Guz on B site, but... Ooh, a nice over read Modica. by Modoka over on Acadius as well, knowing where you want to play, but... Being able to read those pre-nades, because it's so easy just to go in and pre-nade Banana and Mid and Molly it and keep them back with that utility, so... Little frag from Brady! The picking pistol. up two that's so one thing there. last game that, keep an eye out he's uh he always gets at least one frag on a pistol save so you can always <laughs> count on him to keep his uh keep his kd around 101 pushing in with that op really nice oh. flick on to loki another he's got 3k so far Pull around with another saving it's four is he gonna be able to pull this one off now madoka trying to stop him brady now with the ace on the pistol eco incredible job by the man very very well done that is something just the uh, both him and guz had insane rounds and that's exactly why most has pulling together these rounds their pistol rounds and their gun rounds really nice flicks from brady especially the one on gorklo in a pit that was mm -hmm. very very smooth and i uh yeah just a great job I, all around they they I'm really capitalized <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, they got those two kills on the pistol. You're, you're, they're going to be pretty happy at the end of this round. Uh, I expected Team Howell potentially to take them up, of course, with all their guns. But then Brady gets one more, finds the op, and then picks up two with the op. It's just like, what do you do after that? I, I, I was saying, if I was Team Howell, as they get one person taken down now, 
I was saying if I was Team Howe, I was going to feel pretty confident about our ability to plan every round, but boom, Brady picks up another kill, and now I would... The word tilt comes to mind right now, and I don't want to don't want to overstate something, but that last round must have been at least a little bit of a tilter, as there's only three of them left here, as they just are a little bit scattered. Only one smoke over on the Loki. It looks like they are... Uh... All getting together over towards Banana. We're going to see most likely a B hit. But uh, Loki does have to get that smoke off. And no, what is he? I don't think. Did he not remember the lineup or what's going on? Either way, we have. Either way, they're pushing on to the site now, trying to execute. Guz will pick up the first kill. He will pick up two. So it's just Loki remaining all by himself. He's surrounded. Guz will get himself a 3K in this round. And signing mouse pads now lead five to one. Really nice hold. This again from Guz putting in big work for mouse pads. Uh, it having three three of your guys getting taken out by one is really difficult to swallow as well. Uh, I'm sure they're trying to analyze what they could do, how they could counter it. But when you're up against somebody who's just fragging, especially with an AK, we have three AKs on the CT side. Very very useful especially against a lot of people without armor no head armor anything like that and howl is stuck middle they are getting smoked out guys really aggressive on banana and it looks like Howl's just pushing in through the arch wave we have a rotate from dy over into library this wide swing and they're going around the world they're going around oh, the yeah. world through ct they're going around the world they I have love no it. idea they have no they're idea behind them I'm trying to get a second. He will get that one. Madoka is around the corner, but he will back off and reload his gun. Madoka is now going to push it and finally trade that kill back towards the other side. But Swazzy's right here. Here to take him out. But Brady will take him down. Only DUI goes down. Most pads to take another round. Lead 6 to 1. Very dominant start here. Uh, we have Team Howell with not the best economy either. Sitting, it looks. Oh, I guess they're going to. Uh, they're going to go for it. Uh, Sparta once again on that UMP. Uh, Modica's uh, buying up an AK now. And if, if we actually, if, if one of those Howl players had an SMG, signing mouse pads would have the same amount of AKs on their team. They've kept those <laughs> three AKs for two or three rounds at least. That's gross. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> We've all. Uh... We yeah, here's goes. Trying to put a banana now. Ooh, I caught, caught in that squad train around at the wrong time. Guz give up a picture. Picks up three, but Gorklo will finally trade them down. Madoka and Gorklo are the ones left here to continue to push onto the beast side. They're going to jump through the smoke. Cadius, meanwhile, is holding over here right on site, waiting for it to come, to come up. There is Gorklo. Picks his head. Madoka now is the last one left. He will try to fight. He will get one. Can he get the other one? He will not. Swazi gets that one. Seven to one lead now for most pads. The one thing Howell's not doing is uh, anymore is getting that bomb down. They were. Oh yeah. They were. Doing ever since that. Ever since that Brady Ace. Yep. Like, like I said. Like I, again. I I don't want to assume things, but again, that like is a tilter. Like. <laughs> <laughs> After seeing that happen, you were playing so well. I really felt like you were playing so well, and you just, were just like a little bit away from being able to take more rounds here. But now, here they come, just pushing aggressively through Banana onto the beast side. Gus will pick up two kills before going down to Madoka. DY will over will answer two kills with himself. So it is just Tav left here, sitting without the bomb on Banana. He's going to try to run away, maybe try to save this AK as best he can. But they are just right now got nothing going for them does team howl he sees that everyone's there trying to push against them preventing going anywhere there's the mollies there's all the utility just forcing you out and team howl seriously ever since that one that that ace just like it's it's just nothing's been going their way all of a sudden and it really it i can't i can't overstate how it really felt like they had a good game plan and that they just clean up a few things. They were right there, but signing mouse pads are just real damn good. <laughs> they are, and I think I think uh, some of the Howl players got caught out in places, like I'd mentioned with that shot onto Gorklo in a pit. He was sitting mini pit, and he was had his head down or something. Is was waiting for post play, or like waiting for the defuse and things like that. I 
I think that Howell was taking fights that they shouldn't have necessarily been taking, and I think going up against Pistols, you'd assume, oh yeah, no, we can take this, we're fine, that'll be all right. Oh, yeah. But we broke their economy, we got this now, right? Exactly. Like that's like that's what you're thinking when, when you're Team Howell at that moment, and then again, you just see that other guy get an ace, and you're just like, okay, like <laughs> what is my team doing? Like <laughs> just a solo queue, of course, he'd just be like mad, both the angle, trying to get at least one. He does get them down 2 HP holding this AK for as long as he can Ooh. and the round ends so at least you get a small win there it's a little, little tiny tiny victory for Tav there um, but, pause. but it's just not a great situation yeah the pause coming out from everyone Howell yeah Howell probably going boys let's chill let's chill out on this one <laughs> yeah ex exactly because uh, yeah but uh, I think you know this is the pep talk time this is the time that oh, yeah that they need to really take a second, deep breath, and come into it, analyze what Mousepads have been doing and the way they've been playing. Because it's... I think that they had their set strats and they weren't working. They had their set game plan and it wasn't working. After that tilting round, it wasn't working. So mm -hmm. I think now, hopefully, they start counter stratting. They start playing you know, against what... Uh, what mouse pads has been playing i want to see some more uh, apartments uh i want to see things like that splitting a you know they've gone yeah. banana to b quite a few times which is great and all but rush b only works so many times so yeah I, I, again i joked around earlier as well like that's literally all i do in this map whenever i play this map but um in a more organized setting it's not gonna work because it was it, again it was working early but you saw signing mouse pads basically adjust to it right they yep. they were originally going like two three uh, two towards b and uh, three towards a or maybe leaving someone with they started putting three people in b and it's just been working out real well for them so if you're gonna push all those people there they have all that it's like hey you have proven you you do have a good b execute but you need that change up from your from your default and seeing if you go to a but Let's see what they decide to do. <laughs> they decide to go banana. Oh, so my goodness. everything we just said, they're just gonna go for it again and see if they can make signing mouse pads just fall for something here. DY meanwhile is just over here throwing down the Molly, slowing them down, going, Hey, you're trying this again. We're gonna we're gonna put a quick pause on it and get our third member over here to help hold this site as Guz now standing over here with his off. We have a big flank That's coming awful. coming out of Suez. He's pushing oh, up mid. Yeah. Huge aggression. And uh, Brady's sitting with an op at top mid just in case they push. Suez, he knows that smoke is going to dissipate. That long smoke is going to make them think that nobody's actually here. So I, th I think oh. that Howell is going to try to get their way through it. Oh, he does pop the flash. But uh, I'm expecting Suez to get at least two kills here. Because Howell is just stuck. They're just pinched. Yeah. Everyone kind of committed over there towards that. So it seemed like Team Howell, maybe their idea was to push hard towards Banana and then kind of rotate instantly, but it is being slowed down instantaneously. Madoka, though, will pick up the first frag of this round as we sit to 40 seconds left. They are now moving towards that A site. So, hey, a little bit of the bait and switch and see if they can get themselves towards A or they're going to bait back again towards B. Just rotating back and forth over and over again. They do only have 20 seconds now to do this. Let's see if Sparta could have come in here trying to go for the opening frag here. DUI looking right above them. Pick up one, pick up two. Loki will finally take them down, but the damage is kind of done here. Loki will pick up another one here. They have to get bombed down. They have to get. Yeah. They're going to have to repick it back four, up. They have five seconds. They have it. They got it. They okay. It. They, got it. they just got it just in time. Able to get that one there. Of course, taking four seconds to plant. Just enough time for them to get it done. And here we go, Tav and Loki here on the retake. See uh, Kadius and Brady splitting this up. We see Kadius pushing through church. Tav sitting on... Oh, Big Loki. Flag. Oh, one yeah. for one. Now it's up to Loki. He does get that one. Team Howell, after the pause, will pick up the round. Also grab an up on their way out. And that's what you needed. Yeah, <laughs> like straight Loki up after the pause, 4K. you just got to win that round. Loki with the 4K. Really good job there with the Galil. He made it work, they made it work, and uh, I guess B did work for them. Um, mm -hmm. But I don't know if it's going to keep working, because, like you no, said, must The must triple fake will work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Back, forth, back, forth. It's 8D chess right now. Yeah. 
But here you go. They just do it again. They, uh, <laughs> I, again, I think it's just funny that I joked about going bin out over and over again. But they're, they're doing it. And uh, uh, maybe they're just listening to the cast. They're like, no, we like this Johnny guy. We are just going to push Banana over and over again. We want to be but like But we him. do see Brady. Yeah. <laughs> Madoka will pick up the first kill of that one. So it does give an opportunity here for Team Hal to potentially go on there as they did get that pick that they probably desired here. But on the way to the other side, Brady will pick up that one. So it'll just be the same numbers. All of them still committed over onto Banana onto B here. to try to execute. Does get right in front of Smoke. One. He gets two. He will get three here. Actually, DY will pick up one of them. So... And Brady's, Sparta on, left. Brady's on the quick rotate banana right behind him. He knows though. Sparta knows. Brady's sitting, waiting out of out of the angle. The timing on it. Oh. 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 And he crossed over. Get... What's Sparta gonna do? They're getting flashed <laughs> off and they are just <sighs> aggressing them. That's exactly what I was saying is the map control they have is impeccable. It's great. They know where they are and they're not just sitting waiting like oh they might mm -hmm. come here no they're forcing them into these small little situations where sparta has an op and he has two angles he has to sit and watch with four guys pushing him it's mm -hmm. it's great to see uh i i think that yeah most pads probably has great communication and that setup was actually the same setup as the round before from howell with modica over in um alt uh, alt connector who uh, got a frag onto swazzy actually first in the round uh, we see Swazzy middle with that op as well, missing his first shot, but trying to hold off. Uh, it's nice to see Howell trying to go A, but they're just getting smoked off with with utility, and nades coming out, a little bit of damage, and the one time they try to go A, they're getting pulled. Oh, Brady. Brady picking up with the open frag of that round through the smoke. Gets uh, a little, he's a little bit by himself, so what sparks out will answer that one. As they continue now to see if they continue to go to the A or if they're going to try to focus on their other side. With trade of kills happens over here as Badoka and Brady are able to pick up one. Flash is going to blind spark, but Brady didn't pick up kill quite yet. He will eventually, and he does get that one. So it's just Madoka now and Loki trying to push on to the A side. Madoka will pick up one more here, but that will be taken care of by why Loki now by himself will take out Swazzy. 1v1 situation, but he does not have the bomb, so he's going to have to go get it as DY is able to stand over it now. Loki's going to push over towards him, walking up slowly, trying to not give up his position. The as DY is looking the other way. He's able to get onto him. Loki picks up that one. Another round win for Team Howell. And they're going to be pretty happy with that one. If they can steal a couple rounds here, they might be set up in the second half for some success. They really needed that round, and mm -hmm. uh, other than uh, Brady, oh, oh, it looks like no, it looks like they're buying for the team. Uh, Guz bought Brady is no, what? Okay, so they're are they they're pistol buying? A mouse has a pistol buying around Guz with the M4. I don't know if that was a, a miss buy, but tons of nades coming out through middle pistol just spamming away. You see, Guz getting Guz. a frag over an alt middle and. Uh, Team Howell in the first 10 seconds have already lost a player. <laughs> yeah, they did gr aggressively push into that mid zone. This signing mouse path, Garclo is able to get at least a kill back here, taking out DY now. So while the rest of the signing mouse is around there, they do have this opportunity to push onto B now, and they will try to take it. Garclo is in there to turn over the guns his camera. He does get one more. The one man with the rifle, Cadius, does pick up an AK too for his trouble. So they have some to defend with trying to survive there is Katie Scorclo will take him out though so it is just left the guns with the one man with the rifle but they will pick up a few quick kills in quick succession and signing mouse pads will take that round once again when most of them were saving the really really quick uh frag sequence coming out of mouse pads yeah. they cleaned it up really nicely coordination is there and with two rounds left in, in the half, uh, Howell is, has three pistols, two AKs, and I'm not sure what they're going to be able a to hope do. hope and a prayer is all they basically have right now. They're playing this one a little bit slower, not coming to a side quite yet, but they will just get picked off for their efforts as Swazzy is going to get the open finish frag of the round. Because meanwhile, does push through, getting the bomb carrier, taking him out. 
So he there to smoke this up and make it real difficult for Team to pick the bomb back up. Cadius will pick up two kills. Madoka will at least trade that back. He is by himself now. 1v4 will be taken out by Brady. And 11 to 3 is signing Mousepad's lead. Uh, it seems like that's how all Howell's been doing for the most part, is throwing Modica over into alt, and everybody else goes towards stairs. B tries to play off there. That's kind of, I mean, they're not they're not changing. Mousepads is yeah. Mousepads is three B now, right? They they know that B is the site that they've been losing, so it's switching to it. But Brady on the op, the oh, a lot of damage onto Tav. There's no, uh, no mid uh, contention actually coming out of mouse no, pads, no. so it's. Uh, I think they're just going to be sit playing really passive, which makes sense for the aggressive B. Guz already pushed up into logs. Little jump there. Modoka probably heard that. Falling back now, and it looks like they're making their. Ooh! Oh, God's getting the kill through the smoke. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we'll take up that one there. Um, it's it, it, it it's kind of wild. Like as much as. Team Howell, oh Brady picking up another kill here. Their their best play has been towards A. Wazzy gets taken down here. Katie is picking up another kill. Katie is picking up two, in fact. Looks Ooh. good for three and does get it. Katie is, that was his round. And that will uh that'll be the half there, folks. 12 to 3 now for signing mouse pads. And yeah, it, it's kind of tough because you you saw very clearly that Team Howell do actually have a good B execute. That was obviously where they won all their rounds, that they were able to win. And uh, again, early on, they were planting basically every round until uh, until that ace. But the thing is, it's great to have that great BX suit. Anytime they even remotely tried to go mid or A, they just got wrecked completely. So they were like, well, let's just go back to our default on B. But by that time, signing mouse pads just had, just have figured it out, you know? So pretty rough for team howell there we'll see what they're going to be able to do on the ct side but it's right now as uh signing mouse pads did take the first map it's looking like it will likely be a 2-0 here but again a lot weighing on the pistol round right now maybe uh maybe howell is a ct sided team on inferno I want to <laughs> see what they're going to do, and if they lose the pistol, what they do on the second round as well. And uh, for mouse pads, looks like they're going up through alt, which makes a lot of sense. This is exactly, this is the way you want to do it. So if they go through alt connect and try to push up, oh. ooh, nade from Gorklo onto DY. Guz uh, getting a frag back onto Gorklo. That's probably why they went up to alt, and... We have an apartments push. Nice frag from Taz coming out onto Guz. Oh, we have his Loki and Tav in sight now, smoking it off. Brady jumping right out, overtaking him. The aggressive play with the pistol jumping right at him. Brady now down to 10 health, but Cadius and Swazzy are going to pick up some skills for him. So it's up to Sparza by himself to go for this retake 1v3 and normally you'd just be like ah eh, well we'll just try to get picks and see what happens he does get one again you do just gotta try to win this round he will be meeting on the other side another member of signing most pads there but he's just running away now forcing Sparta to play this slowly he doesn't necessarily know where he went after that the bomb is right there on pop of swazzy picks up that kill and 13-3 will be signing most pads lead This is uh this is the round that Howell if they can uh they can just do something to switch up their play style. I mean we already have an AK on Swazzy and Brady. It's gonna be it's gonna be really, really tough. And uh we have most of Howell fully invested into this round. They can do Katie is completely flashed. We have four players over towards A, a quick rotate back from Modica over to B bomb site and just have the T's pushing up into uh, into mid. We have a frag from Sparta and Gorklo uh, trying to shoot the gun over to his teammate and Howell actually took the second round. They took those That's two cute. AKs. That was great. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, great job by Team Howell to be able to pick up that one there. Uh... <laughs> Little shooting your gun over towards your teammate. It's pretty funny. Um, Gorko, as he checks out that AK himself. 
Uh, yeah, they're gonna pick up that round. It's definitely uh one one you'll take. You gotta basically, you don't have a whole lot of breathing room right now. So being able to take one, one right there, does mean you have a puncher's chance of doing something here. But you gotta take a lot of rounds in a row. It's gonna be pretty hard here. They are playing pretty patiently right now with signing most pads. Just seeing where Team Howell decides to go. They are pushing themselves onto that banana. CT team is trying to collapse on the fight. Now, Sparta comes in. He's going to turn up. Oh, he's not able to pick up a frag. He will be taken down. But Doka, though, will pick up a kill on the other side here as he's going to pick up two, three, in fact. While that was happening, Brady did get it his on to Gorklo and Tav was able to pick up a kill. So DY now is a lone, remem lone remaining member of signing mouse pads. Trying to see if he can find the Eagle. Is able to get on to Loki. Does pick up that M4. See if he'll be kind of happy with that. Does have the bomb and the potential to make his way towards A. If he just follows. Marks his corners here. 40 seconds left now on the round as DUI with 23 health is trying to crawl his team back into this one. Around, does pick up that one. Only Tav is left to save this site. He's going to decide to run all the way over towards B. He's pretty sure, smartly assuming that Tav was over on towards A. He'll take a quick pick here. He's got plenty of time, really, to plant this bomb. Let's see what Tav can do. Tav now will try and make his way over. He is the one with all the health, so he just, he just basically just have to tap D.Y. Oh, oh, but D.Y. with the headshot and the clutch 3K to win that one. Oh, every time Team Howell is putting together something positive, one member of signing mouse pads really steps up, and that time it was D.Y. That, uh, that round, Howell needed. I, uh, I really think that... Uh, DY did a phenomenal job playing that too. He he had the read, like you said, with low HP. He was able to oh. get a beautiful round coming out. And we just have a fast banana rush B coming out of mouse pads. Rush B stop and get the smoke out. Oh, from and behind though. A double kill from Tav from behind. Now they're getting hey, pinched. Tav. Yeah, beautiful flank there to pick up two more. He's waiting to see if any one of them will get out, but Marcel will just push in himself and pick up one more kill. Tav's going to get that one, so Swazzy now, it's your turn. Can you be the clutch? Uh, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> Team Howell this time says, hey, let's all go in together and make sure we get this clean one. And Team Howell clap back with a very important win. Team Howell slowly making it back. I mean, their economy's not that good uh, as the CT's economy generally is, but neither is mouse pads. We just have pistols on them, and Howell really needs to minimize loss in this round, uh, just to not have to worry about rebuying guns, because that is going to be the detriment to their CT side. They really need to do their best. But we have Gorklo pushing up middle by himself uh, to try to get a frag. And, oh. ooh, who really- Oh, yeah. Nice little tap there. He's got one. Brady gets one for himself, but Gorklo will pick up one more kill. Brady now has two. He's sitting there with that UMP, and it's a 3v3, of course. The signing must are the team to be saving here, but they get the plant when they basically bought half guns here. Sparza did get another kill onto Cadius. Though, so Brady and Suazi are by themselves here to defend this, but we all know there's a will. Brady can make it happen. He's looking for one. He picks up another one. That's 4K for him now. But Doka's the last one left. He's trying to get his kill onto Swazi, but it looks like Swazi's actually trying to leave it for Brady. I'm not going to lie. Probably. I think he's trying yeah, to see absolutely. if he can pull it off there. Well, and he's going to go for it. Oh, it will be denied. So, Sunny Mesfaz win the round, but yeah, Brady with another 4K. And uh, it is now match point sitting here, signing the mouse pad, leaving 50 to 5. I don't know what happened to Modica. He tried to flick back. I feel like he flicked his mouse off of his mouse pad. It just kind of <laughs> stopped there. But uh, yeah, it's uh, match and map point. Uh, and mouse pads, they have full AKs all over. 
Whereas we we still have we have Loki on a UMP, not Sparta this time. Uh, I don't know how Loki's going to do it. Is he going to be as good as Sparta? Sparta is a UMP god. You know, tons of fracking out of him, but you see that they're actually rotating back and forth. Uh, triple setup on the B bomb site, but mouse pads is pushing up mid. Yeah, they are just playing this one slowly here. They're going together now, starting to execute, drumming in there. Brady and Guz looking for an entry frag as they walk into the A site now. Still not seeing anyone there. Brady does pick up that kill onto Loki. Swazzy will get another one as Guz looks to defend their backside. We'll see what Madoka, Tav, and Sparta can do with their retake as they start heading their way toward them from the B site. On the north side here, Tav trying to find one. He will be taken out by Kadius. Kadius, meanwhile, will eventually pick up be taken down by Madoka, so it's just Madoka by himself to defend this, and he will be taken down. Signing mouse pads wins the round, they win the map, and take the 2 0 victory over.